right guys what we have here is the polar pro light chaser pro filmmaker set i chose this filmmaker set because it's most relative to you know what i'm interested in what i do i've been really excited about this one since i first found out about it and pre-ordered it this is my first just it's all around product from polar pro so super excited so let's get into it <laughs> First off, you open the box, you have the Light Chaser Pro Grip, and pop in this bad bit of open. You will see that inside you have the grip itself. This is the bigger important part, at least for myself. It has the quarter 20, quarter 20 screw mounts right there on both ends, as well as that nice quick release grip. So that you can mount it onto the case inside the box is their thank you and info card and the quick start guide the bluetooth shutter also comes with their head screw to use to screw this on now if you look underneath this little flap here. That's where the actual screw is that you're gonna to want to, to actually use the head screw on. Place it on there nice and firm. Give that a couple of turns. And we're good to go, nice and secure. And as you can see, once you have it actually Paired with your phone. You can just turn that on automatically. Uh, full disclosure, I did test it out earlier and it does connect like extremely smooth and extremely quickly after you've had it paired. So I am way too excited about that feature. But also it does have another quarter 20 on top of that, which is another great, great feature. Your circular polarizer inside the box you'll see that we got a couple wipes comes in a nice hard shell case which is great I'm extremely protective about all the things that I do spend a good amount of money on and you'll open it up you'll see it has another kind of a softer case on top of it peel it back nice and soft see the actual circular polarizer lens itself I'm gonna set that one to the side we'll come back to it in a second once we've made our way to the actual phone case the variable in the filter the three to five stop which also comes This one open as well. See that it has the same case. It's a nice sturdy case. So I mean it's not gonna be like the most protective, but it is something really great that they included to you know allow you to not have to worry about getting something, especially forward or finding a little makeshift something here or there. And I'm also really, really glad they didn't shaft you on the uh, the other end so that you had to go through them again to get something. This here is the bigger deal for me. I do a lot of mobile photography, mobile videography, inside, nothing else there. So the fact that the phone itself, the case itself, does have the additional mounts for the moment lenses was a massive deal for me. And ultimately, honestly, the selling point, because those are like the bread and butter of pretty much any mobile photography. I'm glad that 
It also works well with the, the Rhino Shield lenses. Nice soft vinyl on the inside. A great touch. Black and gold is obviously my favorite like combination of colors. So that also does make me extremely, extremely happy. Another info card. And if you look on the inside of this part here, something that is just absolutely amazing to be included. Because for the uh, the folks who are extremely clumsy, or that you go out and you go on your on your adventures and stuff like that, and you want a lanyard to go with you, I'm sure you have more than enough lanyards. But it never hurts to have just one more. Nice little touch, nice little sturdy lanyard. attach your lanyard, just slide it in right there. You are good to go. Go back to the filters. Great thing here. Just that. You'll take them, see these little grooves here. You'll line them up with there. You see there's a larger one and then you just slide it into the smaller one. hear that nice little snap and it's really nice you can feel the actual turns and ticks so it's not gonna be that hard to uh, to learn to work with to learn to get used to like everyone else when you have something new you, you want to be really gentle with it so I'm trying to be extremely gentle because I, I don't know the uh, the actual limits nor do I want to find out the actual limits to how durable the, uh, <laughs> the filters are. If I have my way, I'll just use them forever without having any issues with them as long as I'm just cleaning them. Because I am very, very particular about uh, the care of all my uh, equipment and items, especially if I spend any sort of uh, a fair amount of money on them. This is going to be the bread and butter, at least for myself. This one doesn't, the, um, the circular polarizer doesn't have those clicks and those digits in there that you would have from the, uh, the variable ND. So you'll just, you'll obviously be able to see that one through your screen, through your lens, and go from there. I would also like to note that if you have any experience with moment cases themselves, they um, the drop-in mount is uh, their their form of plastic, and I'm just a lot more heavy-handed with some of the lenses, so I have worn out a couple of them. I was so glad that this one is a little bit more of the um, of the the metal that they're using with the same lens, so you get to keep that nice like tight just grip and lock that you have on the lenses which for me is great, so that it gives you that extra little peace of mind and security so that you can't just work with them and go with them. It's a very, very thin case. You see all the little rail mounts there. So when you push it up, slide it in, go line, and it's locked in. I don't use any actual MagSafe item, so I don't necessarily think that that'll be a big issue for me on whether it is or isn't, you know, MagSafe or MagSafe friendly. I, I'm good with, with pretty much the, the minimalistic look of most of the cases, which is why, again, super glad that this one is fairly thin, because I'm in love with that. I like to be able to feel the case, know that there's a little bit of protection there, but not have it be some really bulky thing. Because I want to be able to throw around and I also want to still be able to use it with like a gimbal or any of the other rigs and not have any excess weight on there, which makes all this perfect. All in all, I'm excited to get to work with all of it. I'm excited to try out all of it and find the, um, the little pros and cons and ins and outs of all of it. It's an amazing starter kit, especially for myself, on getting your feet wet and getting into everything. So I'm gonna take some time to familiarize myself with all these cards. And this is just from the, the Light Chaser Pro Polar Pro filmmaking kit. 10 out of 10. 
is a phenomenal purchase. Was slightly butthurt over the, the shipping. Not Polar Pro's fault whatsoever. <laughs> I, can't, I can't blame them for the shipping in the middle of a pandemic. So that would have been my only gripe and even that isn't a legitimate gripe. This is well worth it if you're trying to, to up your game to the next level and to, to get some quality and find out some of the, the little things that you've been having issues in with, with your photography and filming. So I'm excited for it. Definitely something to check out if you think it's in your way.